Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And again, we're gonna do another short video uh, promoting one of my sponsors. I've actually been working with Cane Creek for a few years now. I had their Mark I fork, and now I have the Mark II. I'm actually changing from 160 to 170 travel my Bronson. And it's, it, it's amazing, it's been working out great. But uh, I'm gonna let my buddy Dave tell you all about it. What's up? I'm Dave from Cane Creek. I am the sales leader, and today I'm gonna talk about our Helm Mark II fork. Welcome to my shop. This is a fork that punches well above its weight class because of a lot of the features that we built in that I'm gonna go over here. One of the coolest things about it is that it is an extremely modular fork. We can travel adjust this fork down from 90 mil here in our DJ all the way to 170 mils. One of the neatest things that we have is a negative air chamber that we control. So there is a negative air chamber equalizer down here on the bottom of the fork and you can use this button down here to not travel adjust, it's not a travel adjuster, but equalize your negative air chamber after you pump up your positive air chamber. Quick tip, I like to use the cap upside down when I first punch this for the first time in the day, not that you have to do it every day, but when I'm setting it, I like to use this as a little thing so I don't crush my finger. One of the features that we have, which is unique to our fork, is a D-lock style axle. So normally the two connection points between your two stanchions are your crown and your bridge here. We add a third, now there's always an axle in here, but we have chamfered edges on it that lock into the lowers. So these lowers are locked and prevent them from twisting, adding a third point of connection between both the left and the right stanchion. So when this slides in, this bolt that comes through actually actually slides within the axle. It's not a solid axle like most other brands. That axle stiffness makes this 35 mil stanchion fork punch well above its weight class, but it has the weight savings that you would find in thinner, lighter, less strong forks. We also have this nifty custom molded fender. I don't know if you've installed fenders in the past. Most of the time it's done with zip ties. Some of the newer ones have bolts that you need to thread from behind your stanchions. We actually have these shouldered screws that can get pre-threaded, and then this is gonna slide right in, and you're gonna hear it snap into place. Tighten these down just about two to three newton meters, or just a snug, and you're all set. 